We as developers love serverless. We love that we can focus on code, deploy, and let the platform take care of the rest. But we also keep asking, what else can we deploy on serverless? What about going beyond simple functions? Well, you can today with Cloud Run, which lets you run any stateless container on serverless. With Cloud Run, you can forget about infrastructure. It focuses on fast automatic scalings that's request aware so you can scale down to zero and only pay when it's being used. To demo this, I'm going to deploy a serverless microservice that transforms Word documents to PDFs. To perform this transformation, does anyone remember OpenOffice? I'm going to simply add OpenOffice inside my container and then run it in a serverless environment. Let's see how easy it is to run it in a container on Cloud Run. From the console, go to Cloud Run and open the deployment page. Select or paste the URL of the container image and click Create. That's all we needed to create a serverless container. No infrastructure to provision and advance, no YAML file, and no servers. Cloud Run has imported my image, made sure that it started, and gathered a stable and secure HTTPS endpoint. What we just deployed is a scalable microservice that transforms a document into a PDF. Let's see it in action. Let's give it a doc to convert. And we get a PDF back. OpenOffice is not exactly a modern piece of software. It's about a 15-year-old binary, and it's about 200 megabytes. And we just took that binary and deployed it as a serverless workload with Cloud Run because Cloud Run supports Docker containers. That means you can run any programming language you want or any software in a serverless way. Let's look at the code. We have a small piece of Python code that listens for incoming HTTP requests and calls OpenOffice to convert our document. We also have a very small Docker file. It starts by defining our base image. In our case, it's the official Python-based image. Later, we installed OpenOffice and we specified our start command. Then we packaged all of this into a container image using Cloud Build and deployed it to Cloud Run. On Cloud Run, our microservice can automatically be scaled to thousands of containers or instances in just a few seconds. We just took a legacy app and deployed it to a microservice environment without any change in code. But sometimes you might want to have a little bit more control. For example, bigger CPU sizes, access to GPUs, more memory, or maybe have it running on a Kubernetes engine cluster. With Cloud Run on GKE, it uses the exact same interface. I'm going to deploy the exact same container image, this time in GKE. And instead of a fully managed region, I'm now picking our GKE cluster. We get the same Cloud Run developer experience. It's deploying, and our microservice is creating. As before, we get a stable and secure endpoint that automatically scales our microservice. Behind the scenes, Cloud Run and Cloud Run on GKE are powered by Knative, an open source project to run serverless workloads that we launched last year. This means we can actually deploy the exact same microservice to any Kubernetes cluster running on Knative. Let's take a look. I exported the microservice into a file, service.yaml. Then using the kubectl command, I'll deploy it to manage Knative on another cloud provider. I'll enter kubectl get kservice to retrieve the URL endpoint. And voila, we have it now on another cloud provider. Let's look into the service that's running by entering gcloud beta run services describe PDF service. If you're familiar with Kubernetes, these API version and kind fields may look familiar. In this case, we're not using Kubernetes. But since Cloud Run implements the Knative API, an extension of Kubernetes, this is an API object that looks like Kubernetes. Knative enables services to be run portably between environments without vendor lock-in. Cloud Run gives you everything you love about serverless. There are no servers to manage, you get to stay in the code, and there's fast scale up. And more importantly, scale down to zero. You get to pay nothing when there are no cycles being run, use any binary or language because it's on the flexibility of containers. It gives you access to the Google Cloud ecosystem and APIs, and you get a consistent experience wherever you want it, in a fully managed environment or on GKE. Thanks for watching. Check out more in the description below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest in serverless on Google Cloud.